with the new life and with faith in you. Then I give you a lot of long session so that you know who you are watching. Then some of us said, so they don't believe me, they are starting me, they are doing me. Some of you, the program, you won't remember a lot of different things that one said in life and say, yeah. Later on in the evening, your career may hit you. Put the amateur orchestra and institute you. Timber, <laughs> Mama mo friend munja fresh disturb ya che program na se e sana disturb your program ni bebre bi eni abetu ya fresh studio eh me nya feedback to say you tone on air no eh ye ntino ye ko su ko ye hwe waves no waves no your voice of waves no continue mo check ene ye about kokram ah ye cancer no e ho discussions na ye be ye wi a na cholesterol e no so nyoma e manu ba na se ba so kwa e kwan ben so e na be fa so e truti now, upon this is a new and a doctor, I may catch out, say, Yes, sir, over by who quite a beabas can know who upon the city city. No more will do a bit to me to Manaco, bro, how near TT be you. Mamma will if you program your own more say, a GQ travel hotels, fly today and pay tomorrow. Be bit me a boom, now you are just a cogan, and now cogan a buyer, now same this year, so over GQ travel hotels. I would answer over called GQ mine, GQ travel minus hotels dot com. Oko call us any forms now, the bob is here up to. As the KBI, I bet to me a boy near the Kakraton. And Pimnum dear, I bet to me, dear, my old answer do pay slip a bit or near Shama. GQ holiday in. So, old Bassa broke in the moon paterna pebby, be other swell. But my baby, I do how near TT be in and Europe across the globe. And also in here, I was on for Steve and now Yenyano in the program. Steve, welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you. I'm really happy to be here. Good. So, anyway, it has been a long now. So today we know the topic will be the cancer and the cholesterol. So I know you are a researcher. Like, you know, we have to let the people know. Steve, the guy who knows staffs. Yeah. So tell us, what is cancer, first and foremost? Okay, anyway, first of all, I would like to thank you so much for inviting me here, giving me the platform to uh, talk about cancer or cholesterol or anything that goes. And uh, I think a lot of people should appreciate what you are doing. You are doing a great job bringing information to most of we Africans living here, you know. And uh, a lot of people get sick and they go to the hospital and uh, they are doing wrong things and uh, they cannot find ways and means to take care of it. So, you know, we thank you first of all. Welcome. So you were talking about cancer. Okay, all right. Well, cancer... It's not something that is, uh, cancer is not a death sentence. Okay. And uh, I don't know who gave cancer a death sentence because cancer is like, if you have cancer, it's telling you, giving you signal to change your lifestyle. Maybe wow. the way you eat and maybe your stress level and other issues. Mm -hmm. Because a cancer is like, it's saving your friend. Cancer is like your friend. Mm -hmm. If you get tumor, if they diagnose you with cancer, it's more or less like uh, it's your friend tapping you on the shoulder, giving you the information that, hey, something is wrong. So uh, change things. But I think most of Africans are not disciplined in terms of uh, putting measures to things that we do daily. Like at 6 o'clock I have to eat, 8 o'clock I have to go to the bed, and uh, 7 o'clock I have to, you know, we just do things like, no, I have to do this now. Uh, I feel to go out and sometimes we are not more regulated to rules and regulations. So if you get cancer and someone watching us now and say, cancer has now become a friend. They say, hey, Steve, what are you telling me? How can you, because we know a lot of people that are dying from cancer. By the way, what causes it? What are things one does that you get the cancer? Before then, uh, those that are on my team is, uh, uh, Eric, who uh, appear, who is an engineer with the sound uh, going all over the world, is through his setups that we bring into the air. Uh, Vigo, manager, who also, the, also directing our pictures through the Facebook and all these uh, platforms. We have uh, um, Ambrose directing the program as well. And we have Maui, who is also 
in there and uh, watching how things are going well. We have Nanake also on the music part. Thank you once again for watching. So, Steve, I'll come to you. So, explain more about the cancer. Okay, you know, first of all, uh, a lot of people die from cancer, not because of the cancer tumor itself. Fear. But because of fear, yes. Because okay. fear is something that is deadly. Okay. And uh, first of all, if they, you go to the hospital or you mm. go to your oncologist or whatever and they tell you that you have cancer, you know, you have to go through a deprogramming uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, that is like taking away the fear. How can? It's not easy like, it's not easy than done. That is the reason why we are talking here okay, right now. Okay, so, so you're going explain, to teach yeah, I want to how explain. the audience is going to go through once you've got to know you got cancer, yeah. how you go through and even come back with your strength. But before then, you have not still answered my question. How do we get it? Oh, you know, cancer, you can actually, cancer, you can get cancer from stress. Stress, okay. You can get cancer from, yeah, the stress. It could be maybe a family member dying. A loved one dying mm -hmm. or some stress in your life you're not able to cope with mm -hmm. you can get cancer through that okay. okay you could also get cancer through chemicals mm -hmm. by the way the cause of cancer is a uh, lack of uh, cellular oxygenation mm -hmm. it means i'm not talking about oxygen in the blood oxygen going into cells mm -hmm. around the 1930s there was a brilliant scientist mm -hmm by the name of Otto Warburg, Otto Warburg okay. in Germany. Okay. Okay? He discovered that when the cells don't get oxygen mm -hmm. for a period, if the oxygen decreases by 35%, mm -hmm. up to maybe, I think, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. the, your cells, they turn into cancer. Okay. Because, you know, every cell, you need like uh, 100,000 uh, mitochondria. Anyway, mitochondria... You know, every human being, we are born with two DNA. Okay. We have nuclear DNA, mm -hmm. and then we have mitochondria DNA. What is the difference? Mitochondria DNA came into the human genome about 3 million years ago, and it comes only through the female germline. Okay. Okay? So mitochondria is in every cell. Mm -hmm. And every second, you need like 5 million mitochondria to produce energy. So if the cells are not able to get oxygen, mm -hmm. they turn into cancer. Yeah, they, 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 yeah, they, change, they change into cancer. Mm -hmm. Because actually, you know, there are two ways the body makes energy. Mm -hmm. The first one? The first one comes from uh, something. The first one is coming from uh, uh, an organelle. That is called a mitochondria. That's just what I was trying to explain. Mm -hmm. And this mitochondria, it produces energy. And the way the energy is produced is something you call oxidative phosphorylation. Mm -hmm. It means when you eat food, uh, there is a metabolic pathway in which the cells will use the energy. They break it down, and then they produce energy. Mm -hmm. Another way the body produces energy is something that is in the cytoplasm mm -hmm. that is called ATP. That is adenosine triphosphate. Mm -hmm. And uh, the energy that is produced from there, you call this energy, you call this energy, um, oh my goodness. You forgot that one. No, I've not forgotten. Okay, so we'll the, energy, the energy that is produced there is called. Um, <laughs> we come to that word. Okay, we we'll come to that. But before then, we we'll come yeah. to that. Most of us eat from fast food. Most of us eat less sleeping and also always hectic, having... Uh, ba uh, hamburger in the hand, running for buses and sleepless and you know, struggling because we call we need money for daily life. So we struggle, eating less, moving. It's also a part of a problem to the body, or it's not? Okay, what I was just trying to explain. The second, the second uh, energy that is produced in the body is called oxidative, uh, oxidative glycolysis. Mm -hmm. And that one, it, it's, it's a way the body produces energy through fermentation. And this fermentation process is, is uh, less than the way the, you know, from the beginning I was trying to explain that the oxidative phosphorylation, that is when one, 
one molecule of oxygen will produce 32 ATP. Mm -hmm. But this uh, oxidative glycolysis is produced 19 times less than what is produced in the ATP. Okay. So what happens is that the, the cell will use fermentation, sugar, mm -hmm. to produce energy. And that is less efficient. And that is what cancer cells uses to produce energy. That is the reason why you see everybody to tell you that cancer loves sugar. Mm -hmm. You know? So like the way we're trying to explain, uh, somebody getting cancer through stress, you know, there is something you call, in the body, there is something you call, the body produces, uh, um, in the body, <laughs> my goodness. Take your time. <laughs> it's like I'm a little bit. Okay, okay, before then, you know, this is a very educative program, and uh, we're trying to bring it more to, 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 to it, so that when you get it, you know that is the end of uh, life. And uh, Steve, the guy who knows staffs, you just want to break it into pieces. So don't go away. Uh, we'll come back to Steve and uh, bring more details to cancer. When you get it, irrespective of man, girl, small, big, old, you are still have life, and there is a way to treat it. But then, this has become more huge. So, we started into pieces for Steve to also try to bring it because I was even thinking, layman like me, don't know anything about scientists or anything about uh, uh, medication. The words are too heavy for me for my understanding, but we're still going to let Steve break it into pieces for us so that layman like me can understand well. And once I get it, I know that's the end of me. Anyway, if you have any questions as well, you can also write on the Facebook page or write on WhatsApp line. Steve, we come oh. back to you. Okay. Just break it pieces for us so that lame guy like me will know exactly even when I get cancer, that's the end of me. Okay, yeah, what I was trying to explain. Uh, stress can also give you cancer because in the body you have something you call uh, the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. And what happens is that the hypothalamus, that one is in the brain. Mm -hmm. when, when you see something, it to translate, it to give information to your organ. Mm -hmm. That is the pituitary gland mm -hmm. to produce a hormone. Mm -hmm. And in this case, if like you are in stress, it's like you are being chased by a lion or a tiger. Mm -hmm. So you are going to produce things like cortisol and steroids. Mm -hmm. It will be pouring so much into the body and that one becomes, uh, it inflames the body. Okay, inflammation is something, you know, inflammation is the cause of heart disease mm -hmm. and could also be the cause of... Heart attack. Yeah, heart problem or cancer. Mm -hmm. Because in, what is inflammation? Inflammation is when your cells inside the body, they are inflamed. Mm -hmm. And then what happens is that oxygen, then, yeah, burning. Oxygen has to come to put out the flame. Mm -hmm. So oxygen is being taken from some of your organs to quench the flame that is burning. Mm -hmm. You know? Inflammation just simply means that if you, have, if you see a rust mm -hmm. on an iron, right? Mm -hmm. There is nothing you can do. If you don't fix it, the inflammation is always going to be there. Mm -hmm. And the body wants to save you. So what is going to happen is that it's going to take oxygen from some of the other organs to quench that inflammation. So chronic inflammation in the body causes cancer. Okay. And what are the causes of inflammation? Inflammation is something like if you eat bad food, like maybe like pizza <laughs> or macaroni but you or you use or you use this uh, polyunsaturated uh, fat mm -hmm. like this fried oil mm -hmm. or sunflower mm -hmm. that has been because exposed to sunlight sunflower is uh, oil sunflower normally is good if you get it uh, cold pressed mm -hmm. not exposed to oxygen not exposed to light mm -hmm. that is what transports oxygen into cells you see, a lot of people, we know uh, omega-3 mm -hmm. is oh, very good. Right. Yeah, yeah. there is omega-3 fish oil. Yeah, omega-3 fish oil. And uh, we have omega-3 and we have omega-6. I okay? was using omega-3 before. Yeah. On my days but, as a footballer. Correct. But normally, we don't need so much omega-3. We need more omega-6. I mm -hmm. think it's like 11 to 1 mm -hmm. in favor of omega-6. Mm -hmm. And people are taking fish oil. Mm -hmm. So if you take things like the fish oil, the, the omega-3 fish oil... Mm -hmm. That is also another huge information that is going to surprise a lot of people. Omega-3 fish oil is not good. Why? It's not good because uh, the oil coming from fish, mm -hmm. you know, normally fishes, they live under the water. Yes. 
and it's cold. Yes. Sometimes it's frozen, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The oil is what protects the fish from getting frozen. Okay. Okay? And we humans, what is our temperature? 98.6 or something like that degrees, okay? Mm -hmm. So, the oil inside a fish is what is, it's like an antifreeze. It's mm -hmm. keeping the fish from freezing. Yeah, to get so, warm. Yeah. So, if you take that fish and then you bring it into a warm temperature. It's going to die. Yeah, that oil is already, it's rancid. Mm -hmm. And it's, cause, it's going to cause a lot of inflammation inside the body. The best omega-3 to take is coming from plants. Mm -hmm. Marine, any oil coming from the sea is the wrong type of oil to take. Oh. Because like the way I was trying to explain, is this oxygen that transports, no, is this oil that transports oxygen into cells? I'm not talking about uh, oxygen going into the blood. Mm -hmm. The blood oxygenation, that is a different story. If cells, that's what I'm explaining. Otto Warbeck found out when the cells don't get oxygen, 35% less, mm -hmm. for 50 minutes, they tend to cancer. Okay. So these oils, they are the only things in creation that can transport oxygen into cells to prevent those cells from mutating into cancer genes. Okay. So how can a layman no such duties to avoid that because it's very because we don't teach this in the schools or the universities on the street except now we're going to bring it on our tv uh, shows to educate our listeners where can we and when should we be aware of all this education how you know this might not be good and this is good and we have to use it but you don't have to use it how can we get into it yeah, I think right now, you see, there's a lot of information there on, on Internet. Millions, billions yeah, of information. But there is also false information, okay? Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they go on net, and if you don't really, if bad luck, if you don't know how to, where to get your information from, you could be getting wrong information, and it's going to hurt you. That is why they say knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. If you get a knowledge, and you get a wrong one, it's going to hurt you. But if you get the good knowledge, and you're able to utilize it, it's going to save your life. Okay, but you, by the way, let me come back to a uh, point that you said. You said food, dead food, like you mentioned pizza. And I know, you know, in States, you know, if you didn't anyone, you try to bring the pizza hood, you know. If you're going out, most we have millions of people going to pizza hood for Friday night before going to the clubs. And we think pizza, like me, I have like a pizza uh, Friday night with the family. And I think it's the best food because it tastes good. But you say it's a dead food. Why is it the de a dead food? Yeah, you know, I would say things like pizza, macaroni, spaghetti, all those things, they are dead food. Because the problem is that those type of food, they don't have enzymes. Mm -hmm. They don't have enzymes. And, you know, if you're eating food, you are eating food because of the enzymes, the minerals and the vitamins and amino acid. That's why you are eating the food. And this type of food, they are dead. They don't have enzymes. Because what happens if you eat this type of food, it's going to rub the enzymes in your body to digest it. Because when you eat food, you need enzymes to digest it. Why do, why do they say raw food is good? Raw food is good because it, raw food is loaded with enzymes. Mm -hmm. And enzymes, the work of enzymes actually is to build new cells, build new, new tissue cells, neurotransmission, mm -hmm. build a lot of good things inside your body. Mm -hmm. And the last thing it does is digesting. Okay. Yeah, that's the last thing enzymes do. So if you eat food that is uh, enzyma enzymatically dead, the enzymes you have in your body, they are it's going to be to used to digest the food. Mm -hmm. And if you have less enzymes, because every day, remember, we are hit with 10,000 cancer cells. Mm -hmm. And these 10,000 cancer cells, your immune system has to be up to snuff mm -hmm. to tackle it. Mm -hmm. So if you are rubbing your body with enzymes by eating this type of dead food that don't have enzymes, mm -hmm. those enzymes are going to be used. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have enough of them, then that's where you're going to have problem with cancer and diabetes and all those things. Because you don't have the, the enzymes and the minerals and the vitamins and all those things inside to help you out. Okay. You explained how we get the cancer before we go to the other topic. Uh, when you get it, how do you treat it? Oh, you know, if, if, if they diagnose you with cancer, the first thing you have to do is deprogramming. You have to know that cancer is not a death sentence. Mm -hmm. Cancer, the, the diagnosis you got is just like a tap on your shoulder mm -hmm. to wake up, to change things. Mm -hmm. Like, things like the way you sleep, 
the way. Yeah, your sleep pattern. Your sleep pattern because you know a lot of people make mistake. Normally, when the sun goes down, we're supposed to go to bed. What? Yeah, when the sun goes down, we're supposed to go to bed because when when the sun goes down and then you are exposed to light. Mm -hmm. This light it prevents your your hormone. It goes inside your pituitary gland, your pineal gland. Mm -hmm. It tells it that it is not night. There is still daylight. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to produce the hormone melatonin mm -hmm. to prevent you from having cancer. Because melatonin is a hormone that prevents cancer. And it's also a hormone that eats up cancer. So if I'm right, so if one gets cancer, like you explained about the dead food, then it's also not good to eat pizza and macaroni. You have to avoid that one because it's not going to help you at all over time. You know, the thing is, you don't only have to wait you get cancer till you stop eating those type of food. You have to stop it right You have to stop it right away because if you want to stay fit. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing is, if you are old, you don't have to compare yourself with young, this young, young folks. They are the young children. Mm -hmm. Because children, remember, they have a lot of enzymes. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of uh, minerals and vitamins. When you are growing older, mm -hmm. you lose enzymes. You lose vitamins, you lose amino acid, your enzyme capacity goes down. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why even if you want to stay up to speed with your immune system, <coughs> you need to take things like enzymes. Mm -hmm. Proteolytic enzyme, pancreatic enzyme, uh, the serapeptis, the serapeptis, you know, the narrokinase, and a whole lot of enzymes. You need to take them because those things actually will help you to digest food. Like I said, it's the last thing it does. But at the same time, too, it helps to keep down the fibrin. Fibrin are things that are always in your blood. When you get cut, they come, they seal it, mm -hmm. and then your, your, your wound heals mm -hmm. with the help of cholesterol. Mm -hmm. You know? We come to cholesterol. Oh, yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah, so these are the things. If, if, if you take the measure of not eating all this type of dead food I'm talking about, mm -hmm. not only dead food, but pesticide food or processed foods, you know, the thing is, long time ago, we used to eat unprocessed food. We used to eat food from the but scratch. But which people think the fast food are the best and don't want to eat the village foods. Yeah, that is why people are popping up with diabetes and heart problems and all those things. <laughs> because if you're eating all those type of dead food, the body, your liver is sitting, your liver is taking a lot of beating, you know. Explain, me, explain me about uh, 30 seconds, the dead food, so that those watching us will know uh, these foods are dead, not good for my body. So just give me just 30 minutes about the dead food. Yeah, like the, you said already pizza, macaroni. Yeah, the dead food, anything that is dry, you know, like all this flour, the corn flour, uh, the, the pizza, the macaroni, the spaghetti, you know, all those food. Bread that are, is also as well? Yeah, bread. Yeah. yeah, bread is one of the things you would want to avoid because wheat, you know, what is bread made of? It's made from wheat. Mm -hmm. And wheat has... This uh, protein that is called gluten, that is no human on this planet can digest gluten. Mm -hmm. And especially, you know, I'm, okay, let me just try to specify it. Gluten is found in cassava, it's found in any type of food. Mm -hmm. Even the stamp in the post office, mm -hmm. it has gluten. Anything that is starchy is gluten. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that the, the family of gluten coming from wheat, barley, rye, mm -hmm. these ones, they are very, very difficult for anybody to digest. And wheat also ha has another protein they call gliadin. Mm -hmm. Gliadin, lectin, and amylopectin A. Amylopectin A, when you eat it, in, which is in weight, when you eat it, it raises your blood sugar. It's more than taking a, ta a tablespoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. And you have things like the lectin. Mm -hmm. Lectin is also what uh, creates intestinal permeability. That is, it creates a lot of holes inside your intestine. So that when you eat things like broccoli, everybody knows it's good, or carrots, mm -hmm. or spinach, they sneak through your intestine because of this lectin, and then they meet your immune system. Because our immune system is situated in our small intestine. So it goes through your small intestine, the hole, and then it meets your immune system, then the immune system is going to mount an allergy. This is where allergy is coming from. Okay. And gluten can also manifest even as autism, it can manifest as autoimmune disease. It can manifest as any type of disease you can think in this world. There are a lot of people who are sick mm -hmm. and they go to the hospital and they cannot find a cause. Okay? Why? It could be coming from this gluten, from wheat, from bread. Ah. So there are a lot of people, 
they stop eating bread. They take, even they take away all the grains, like rice and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. They take it away. After four, six months, they see their health is improved ah. without even taking any medication. Because, see, in which, which country in this world is known for eating a lot of wheat? Italy. Mm -hmm. Go check in Italy. There's a lot of celiac disease there. Celiac, that is coming from this uh, gluten. Mm -hmm. Okay? And uh, like this uh, rice. In the whole world, a lot of people eat rice. The rice we used to eat before, those rice, we don't find those type of rice now because of the pesticides and the Roundup and the glyphosates. Mm -hmm. Because most of the things they use in spraying rice, they are loaded with cadmium and arsenic and all those things. And uh, if you consume them, they go inside the brain. Mm -hmm. And then it's given, you know, like in Asia where they eat a lot of rice, there is uh, an epidemic of diabetes over there. Mm -hmm. And enzyme as well. Di yeah, epidemic of diabetes mm -hmm. because of the sugar level. Mm -hmm. And also they have neurological problem because of the cadmium and the arsenic. It mm -hmm. goes direct into the brain. Mm -hmm. By the way, let me bring this one in because you said that burden. We got people who have this sugar problem, but they've been injecting in their stomach for like... Insulin. Yeah, they insulin take insulin. Every day. Is it good for their health? Is it going to cure? Or what time? What's going to happen to them? <laughs> they don't have a cure. If I say they don't have a cure, it doesn't mean I'm not talking about natural cure. You know, if you change your lifestyle, you stop eating too much carb, you know, and you change the type of food you eat, definitely people, there are people who are taking insulin and diabetic and all that stuff. They've been able to reverse it. Mm -hmm. Because if you go to the hospital and they give you insulin, you have to live on it for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. You know, so they don't have a cure. Okay. But there are a lot of things, you know, if, there are things you can take to reverse okay. diabetes. First of all, you have to stop eating uh, most of this carb food, the carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to stop eating those, those type of food. And uh, yeah, there are natural things you can also use. Even for example, like watermelon, cucumber, mm -hmm. they have natural insulin, natural. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you go on fasting and uh, you change your lifestyle, definitely you can reverse it. Anyway. Uh, this information I'm giving here, I'm not a medical doctor and I want to make a disclaimer here. If anybody have any issue or any problem, probably you should consult with your physician, your doctor. Mm -hmm. You know, so this one is like for... Education. Yeah, it's for educational purposes, mm -hmm. you know. But you can also do, you know, the almighty creator has given everybody brains, you know. You can do your own research. You know, right now there's a lot of information on the net. If you know how to go and do research yeah, and find I your have, information. I have someone who said, when you tell him or when you tell her, uh, this is a boy, and after three seconds, you just forgot. I said, not everybody can even just search it. But I think uh, it's necessary to give this information to our people because not everybody can make this research. Yeah, because you know what I'm trying to, you know, they're, they're giving you insulin, you know, the artificial insulin they are giving you, that's not going to solve the problem. Because if you have diabetes, it's a problem from the pancreas. Mm -hmm. First of all, you need to do some digest, uh, you need to detox your liver. Mm -hmm. You need to try to detox your pancreas also. There are ways you can do detox, you know. For example, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people poo poo uh, enemas. Mm -hmm. Long ago, we used to do a lot of enema, mm -hmm. okay? What is that? Enema, that is, they have this, uh, they have an enema bulb, this pink stuff. Mm -hmm. You put liquid in and then you put it through the rear side. Mm -hmm. You pump it into your stomach. Mm -hmm. To digest, I mean to detox okay. your liver. Because what happens is that if you, if you for example, if you, uh, they have this coffee you can do enema with. Mm -hmm. If you drink coffee from the tap, it doesn't help you that much. And uh, you need, it's like a diuretic, you know. Mm -hmm. But if you take it from the bottom side, you know, if you pump it through the rear side, it goes into the hemorrhagic vein, goes direct direct into the portal vein, and then it goes direct into the liver. Mm -hmm. And what does the liver need to produce glutathione? Well, I should mention glutathione is what your liver produces to take care of uh, bacteria or uh, toxins coming inside your body. Everybody, everybody on this pla planet produces something they call glutathione inside the body. The body produces it naturally. Mm -hmm. But People who are sick, they cannot produce the glutathione. So if you do the coffee enema, it goes direct into the portal vein, goes into the, the, your liver, 
the liver needs palmitic acid, palmitic acid to produce glutathione. So when the coffee goes there, this palmitic acid, the liver uses it to produce glutathione 700 times more than what the body normally produces. And besides, if you do co coffee enema, it's like you are doing natural dialysis. Mm -hmm. You are doing natural dialysis, okay. okay? And normally, the blood circulates from the liver to the kidney every 15 minutes time, it goes two and a half times. But if you do coffee enema, it goes five times. So if you do this thing, it's going to go a long way to help you out because the liver is going to bring out the toxins it has been keeping for a long time. Uh, once the liver is detoxed, it will take care of the pancreas also will try to detox. And then the pancreas will start to produce pancreatic enzyme. You okay. Know? Uh, let me stop you here. Uh, you have the telephone number also on the screen. Maybe, I mean, I have to be honest with you, the words, you know, the points, you know, I need to be in the university now to get it done. Maybe you don't understand exactly the words that she's even saying, but then you can also call the studio line 0049-681-9515399. You can also call on the Leica line 0049-1521-4728-388. If you have any questions about this discussion, you can also call now and ask your questions. I know the words are very huge, and believe me, I don't know all the words. I need to, after the program, also go and make my research. So, anyway, you are watching us live on Facebook, on GQ TV. Like, follow, and share. Later on in the day, we will premiere on YouTube. You simply have to subscribe and also click the notification bell to know our program. Don't forget, Sundays are after church from 17 to 19 p.m. The program continues. Steve. Yes, we've learned a lot. So now, I, before we go to the other topic, I want you to explain. Someone has diabetes and someone has cancer. Just give me one minute each to answer how they have to make the treatment and to reverse it back before we move to the other topic. Okay, you know, cancer, everybody's scared of cancer. When they tell you you got cancer, you think it's a death sentence. So, you know, like I was mentioning, you have to deprogram yourself. You have to know that, thank God, they told me I have cancer. I changed my lifestyle. And, you know, one most important thing also is a lot of people, they harbor uh, anger, mm -hmm. you know, because that one too can also give you cancer. Oh. You have to forgive. You have to open up your heart. Ah, okay. You know, so forgiveness is in the Bible. You know, mm -hmm. you need to forgive. You need to take away all the, the anger you are putting in your body. Mm -hmm. Because like I was mentioning, in the body, you have this uh, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Mm -hmm. If you have this anger, the hatred, the all, the, all that type of, uh, you know, uh, you know, the anger, the, the hatred, and all those things you have in your body, your body will keep pumping steroids, adrenaline, mm -hmm. which is just not good. Okay. So you need to learn to forgive. And forget. You need to forget. You really need to forget because that could also be a reason why you cannot heal from your cancer. So you need to deprogram yourself because, you know, the thing is, if you have that fear, number one, you are not going to be in a productive mode because once your body is in fear mode, your body cannot uh, heal. Your body cannot repair itself because okay. the body cannot do two things at the same time. time okay. Either you are in a productive repair mode or oh. you, are in, you are in an anger mode which is further destroying, you. destroying your cells and things. Okay. And your immune system needs to repair. Mm -hmm. So you need to forget all those things and uh, just try to change your lifestyle. You know, change the, the types of food you are eating. You know, and of course, there are many, many, uh, there are many things you can do to take care of cancer. In Africa, we have this sour sap. Mm -hmm. Okay? We have dandelion. We have rosemary. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get vitamin C IV, mm -hmm. intravenous vitamin C ascorbic acid. Mm -hmm. You have this glutathione I was talking about, mm -hmm. where you can get 700 times by doing coffee enema. Mm -hmm. They have the IV glutathione. Mm -hmm. We have atesunate. We have even simple things like selenium. Ah. Selenium is cheap. Okay. You need one, if you take 200 micrograms of selenium, one tablet a day, you can prevent breast cancer by 86%. You can preserve, prevent prostate cancer. You can pre prevent a whole lot of cancers. Selenium, 
Okay. It's a mineral. It's coming. It's, it's made up of dirt okay. from the soil. Selenium is cheap. Then I think on our next program, and you need things like vitamin D3, which is coming from the sunshine, mm -hmm. vitamin K2. Mm -hmm. You know, you need uh, turmeric. There's okay. a lot of information on YouTube, curcumin, mm -hmm. and you know, even curcuma, which is coming from turmeric. If you combine it with piperine, this uh, black uh, pepper, mm -hmm. this small, small black pepper, mm -hmm. if you combine it, turmeric and, and piperine, mm -hmm. it's 100 percent more potent than chemotherapy without any side effect. Wow. Okay? If you're a poor man, you have cancer, they tell you you have cancer. You know, cancer loves sugar. Everybody knows cancer loves sugar. Mm -hmm. What you can do is you can starve yourself three, five days mm -hmm. if you're able to do it mm -hmm. without taking in food. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you, do, if you don't eat food fasting for 72 hours, which is three days, mm -hmm. if you don't eat food, all the glucose in your body is burnt, okay? Mm -hmm. You don't have any more glucose. Mm -hmm. What the body does is it's going to switch into something they call ketogenesis. Uh -huh. That is, it's going to switch into fat mode. It's mm -hmm. going to use, if you have tumor, your body will start to eat it mm -hmm. as a source of energy. Mm -hmm. Your body will start to recycle itself. That is the reason why in the Bible, book of Daniel, I don't know which verse exactly, but fasting, if you are able to fast for 42, 43 days, if you have cancer, cancer will be gone. Besides, you are going to use, look younger. Mm -hmm. Diabetes is gone. Heart problem is gone. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people who contacted me. They have heart problem or diabetes problem. Mm -hmm. I put them even only on five days fasting. Mm -hmm. You drink only water, okay? Mm -hmm. No food. Mm -hmm. Only water. Mm -hmm. Their heart problem is gone. Wow. They don't need insulin anymore. Mm -hmm. But you see, a lot of people, they are not ready to do fasting. <laughs> if you have cancer, mm -hmm. there is some, this sodium bicarbonate is cheap. Everybody knows sodium bicarbonate. Yeah, they use it to bake, okay? Mm -hmm. If you fast for three good days, mm -hmm. all the glucose in your body is burnt. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing, cancer is very known to be very, very... Uh, one power cancer has mm -hmm. is it builds more muscles, or more blood cells to your digestive tract. So it means when you eat food, cancer eats before you eat. The cancer cells. Mm -hmm. So if you starve yourself, without food, mm -hmm. and the cancer is really, really hungry, mm -hmm. what you do, you can take sodium bicarbonate, mm -hmm. you make candy out of it. Mm -hmm. You take uh, sugar, mm -hmm. put sugar mm -hmm. in part, melt it, mm -hmm. put some spoons of sodium bicarbonate, make candy out of it. Mm -hmm. When you fast, the cancer cells, since they are very, very hungry and they want to eat, if you consume this thing, the cancer cells, your mouth are wide open, mm -hmm. they consume this into candy. candy the candy you made out of sodium bicarbonate, and the bicarbonate neutralizes the cancer cells, they are dead. I think on our next program, on the future, we're going to make this experiment. We're going to buy it yeah. and make this experiment on the show yeah. to see how one can also prepare it. I'm much, much interested. It in works. That. It works 100%. Uh, we will, we will promise our listeners that we will put this into practice as time, when the time goes on and see how best you can also know how to do it. Uh, but then, that is wonderful. I, I love it. I just love the station. But then, uh, the, other, the other question, how can you also kill sh sugar? Sugar, you know, normally we're supposed to eat raw, I mean, raw natural sugar coming from other fruits or plants or anything, mm -hmm. or honey. Mm -hmm. But because, you know, sugar coming from honey is bound to proteins, enzymes, and all those mm -hmm. things. And when you consume those things, the sugar level doesn't hit the cells. Mm -hmm. It goes slowly, like drips, mm -hmm. into the cells. So, you know, listen, what is, what is uh, diabetes? The, your, your body produces too much insulin, mm -hmm. and the cells cannot handle the sugar anymore. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, if you're sitting in a car, and the car is driving maybe 150 or 100 kilometers mm -hmm. per hour, you stick out your head, you will not be able to breathe. Normally, we need oxygen to breathe, right? Mm -hmm. If you are walking, you can breathe oxygen normally. Yeah. But if you are driving a car, you stick out your head. The air is hitting your face, right? Yeah. And you see, you cannot. You have difficulty in breathing. Mm -hmm. yes. That is the same way happen, happening to sugar coming into the cells. It's hitting it so much, and because insulin is like a key that opens the sugar to get into the cells. So the insulin, when the sugar is coming too much, it closes. The key locks. Okay. The sugar cannot get into the cells. It stays in the blood, and then there's problem. 
Because what happens is that when that sugar stays too much in the blood, most of the times the blood is the body is very intelligent. It to convert it into glucose, into glucose, fat. Okay. Mm -hmm. But if it's too much, then the body says, hey, too much, I cannot take it. Because too much sugar into your blood is like a broken glass okay. cutting you. Okay. That's what happens. That is why they have this diabetic problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is also why this diabetes, people who are diabetic, sometimes they have this gangrene, mm -hmm. so it doesn't heal, mm -hmm. because the, the cells are saturated. Mm -hmm. You know, they cannot breathe anymore. Yeah. And the cells normally, like the way I explained, the cells, they're supposed to get oxygen so that they function correctly. Mm -hmm. They're able to convert glucose when you eat food together with oxygen, mm -hmm. then they produce ATP, adenosine triphosphate, okay. which is like a currency for your energy. Mm -hmm. So that is why you see somebody who is diabetic or somebody who is sick, you don't have energy because you are not able to produce this ATP, mm -hmm. which is like a currency. Okay. That gives you the energy. You are not able to, to produce it. Because when your body becomes too much acidic, it means you have too much hydrogen. And I mentioned earlier on doing things like enema. You know, for example, if you take things like, even, you know, like here we live in Europe, we have this uh, stinging needle. Mm -hmm. Germans call it brain essel. Okay. Okay, you take that thing and probably you add things like rosemary mm -hmm. or uh, thyme, sage, coriander. Mm -hmm. You know, those leaves. Yep. You combine them, you, do, you get juice out of it, mm -hmm. and you do enema with it. Mm -hmm. What happens if you juice any of these things, whether carrots, or celery, or rosemary, or all those things, when you juice them, they turn into potassium hydroxide. Mm -hmm. Okay? Potassium hydroxide. Yeah. If you do enema with it, it goes into your body. Since your body is so much acidic, acidity means buildup of hydrogen. Mm -hmm. So now, potassium hydroxide, the chemical formula, or the way it translates, is minus OH buildup of ox uh, hydrogen which is in your body, which is acidity, is plus H. Okay. So now, minus OH plus H positive, when they come together, they fuse, it forms a chemical called H2O, which is water. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why when you do enema, you juice, you drink, or you do enema with it, it's going to alkalize your body. Mm -hmm. It's going to break up cells. Okay, we have a caller here. So, hello, who is calling now? Your name and where you're calling from? Hello. 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 Yeah. Hello. I'm mm -hmm. a patron. Would you now free free him? You're a patron. I'm a free free. I'm a free free. You're a free free. You're a free free. You're a free free. You're a free free. Uh, my uh, uh, program and program program different program why German new law German program no a basso first Saturday of the month. It's here for any other for yes, German program no more muti as well. GQWeb.com. German program no a basso first week of every month. I see Busum no more week first Saturday no and no near German program. And two questions to be an hour be beer. And I'm Mumuba Brenuswa for we have about five thousand contacts. Mumuba Breno moi, Modia emergency to say, Oh my, our free free SNE. Mr. Oye, there be a case of your program on a pet. Now, I'm afraid. Now, the SEA say you are near. Now, I say you can say after programs or so no. Mom, friend, you can't do it. 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 You can GQ TV, you subscribe, you now click notification bell, na wa share. Bibi also happens with the banner, so no, my son, you bet me I was up here, so you bet me I can have a text message in a mouth, and I bet me so a friend. Yeah, yeah, upon the we are discussing about uh, health, uh, cochrane, and the account, uh, cancer, 
and a cholesterol. Yeah, but we see here. we shift uh, the topic to cholesterol and see more details about cholesterol. So, so we change our next program. Before we end it here, we'll go to the second program, which is Abruchire Aware uh, Marriage in Abroad. Until you don't go away, continue stay tuned till 6 p.m. Steve, we have only two minutes to explain about cholesterol. Then we change the topic. We end the program, the head program now, and we move to the second program about the marriage. So the cholesterol. Just give us more a bit about the cholesterol. Okay, uh, cholesterol. I'll come to in you. In just two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Let me just try to explain something quick. You okay. know, in this world, anybody listening, if you want to prevent uh, your body from becoming sick, mm -hmm. there is even there's only one single thing you can do. If you can empty your bowels mm -hmm. every day, maybe two, three times. If you eat three times a day. You go three times. Mm -hmm. If you eat two times a day, you go two times. Or minimum, you go one time a day. A day, a day is going to help you a lot. Because why? But I, I eat two times a day. Yeah, you need to go two times. If you don't go two times, you are constipated. And okay. you know what I want to mention is, you know the thing is, if you if you leave uh, fecal waste in your stomach, mm -hmm. your body always reabsorbs. Mm -hmm. And when you are sick, instead of your immune system tackling maybe cancer cells or taking care of your heart or kidney or anything like that. It's going to be busy fighting your fecal matter. Because mm -hmm. if you don't empty it, your body will always reabsorb. Mm -hmm. So if you empty it, your immune system has time, no diversion. Your immune system is going to help to do other job. Okay. Okay, and cholesterol, mm -hmm. let me go straight to cholesterol. Okay. You know, let me tell you what. Cholesterol is a scam. Mm -hmm. If I say cholesterol is a scam, it will surprise a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You see, the thing is that uh, one huge secret information is maybe secret to some people but it's not secret to people who do hardcore research cholesterol doesn't have a sensor in the body ah. we have magnesium we have potassium we have sodium we have uh, other type of sensors in the body mm -hmm. the, you see anything the body thinks is necessary the body always have a sensor when the body knows that there is something that is lacking it's going to kill you it has a sensor okay. if you go do blood tests it will tell you but cholesterol doesn't have a sensor. Okay. Cholesterol doesn't have any sensor. And the longest living people on this planet, they have the highest cholesterol. And anybody who lives longer, they have higher cholesterol than people who have low cholesterol. Because the thing is that the older you are getting, like I said, your enzymes, mineral, amino acids, all those things, they decrease. Yeah. Cholesterol is a backup. Okay. Okay. If you have cholesterol less than 150, 160, you can't have hormone. Erectile dysfunction, infertility. Mm -hmm. cholesterol, is, cholesterol is one of the most abundant things in your body. Cholesterol is in every cell. If okay. you have a cut, you don't have cholesterol, cut is not going to heal. Okay. Cholesterol is, is fat, it's fatty. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they say you have bad cholesterol or that thing. There is nothing like bad, good cholesterol. Okay. The bad cholesterol is just what... Uh, bad cholesterol is what went to fix a problem. If you have cut on your skin, mm -hmm. the chol cholesterol leaves your liver. Anyway, cholesterol is produced in the liver. Cholesterol leaves the liver. It goes to patch, to fix wound, okay? Mm -hmm. When it goes and it fixes, it gets damaged. It gets transported back to the liver to get recycled. Mm -hmm. That is what they, they call the HDL and the LDL, mm -hmm. okay? So cholesterol is a scam. If you take cholesterol-lowering, really? yes. If you take cholesterol-lowering medication, mm -hmm. it's going to be a problem. Because whether you eat zero cholesterol or not, the liver is always going to produce cholesterol. And by the way, listen. Everybody is different. Everybody is unique, okay? Sure, sure. And everybody needs a different number. Yeah. Okay? You cannot say everybody should have 160, 200, or whatever. No. It doesn't happen like that. Because if you wake up in the morning, for example, and then your heart beat... It's maybe 160. Mm -hmm. If you start to do your things or jogging and all that thing, it's going to go up. Yeah. It doesn't stay the same. It's the same way with cholesterol. If you are somebody who needs a lot of sex, mm -hmm. you are somebody, you don't get angry. Mm -hmm. People tell you a lot of bad things and you are kind of like cool, relaxed. Mm -hmm. You don't get hurt. You don't get stressed out. Mm -hmm. People like that, they need less cholesterol. Okay. Those people who, who are like... Also, uh, those like those, sex. Those sex. Who, yeah, if the more sex you want, the more cholesterol you need. Ah, your okay. body is going to produce more cholesterol. Okay. So the cholesterol so is a scam. Se sex is good. If, if you're a guy, listen, I'm going to tell you everybody. <laughs> if you're a guy, you don't empty your sack. Uh -huh. This 
sperm is going to oxidize. Mm -hmm. And that is where you're going to have prostate problem. Okay. You need to keep it clean. Mm -hmm. You need to always empty your sac. Okay. So you don't need to keep your sperm too long. That is what, you know Picasso? Mm -hmm. Picasso, he was fathering children at the age of 90, over 90 years. Mm -hmm. He did it every day. Okay, we'll end up here with the topic. And we'll move to the second. But it was so much, to the end, it was much interesting. So, Yabeka Abu Chaware, we're going to the marriage in abroad. So, maybe we'll bring this sex. Uh, uh, we, I, I most of the time call it a, a three letter words if I don't want to say it and also getting people confused and to know what I'm trying to say. I always say three letter words, you know. Yeah, three letter words, then I mean it's the sex that I'm talking about. Thanks for watching. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We end the health program now. And now we're going to continue in the short break and come back with a butchery our imagine abroad so stay tuned and don't go away don't forget we are on facebook live gq tv like follow and share and don't forget youtube gq tv subscribe notification bell and also share stay tuned don't go away gq tv we move step ahead